to get it all, never slip through my fingers. Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another uh, lossless scaling update video. So for those who don't know, lossless scaling uh, got a new update on uh, August 12th. Uh, I was a little bit ill to cover that, but yeah, here I am, uh, better late than never. So this update contains now the 4x frame generation along with the NVIDIA G-Sync support. Now what is uh, X4 frame generation, you can just call this four times the fps but uh, yeah there are some complications uh, which i will show you and talk you through you might also ask why i am recording through my smartphone camera not the usual screen recording with obs because uh, this update messed up the recording setting on obs obs is not been able to capture smoothly i don't know for some reason the capture is getting very laggy and stuttery yeah i will fix that later but uh, till then i thought that i'll make a video with uh, this smartphone so yeah anyway uh, first i'll just uh, launch this loss of scaling and show the options i've already uh, run widget 3 in the background to test the uh, fps modes and everything so yeah here is the new uh, lossless scaling i don't know how much clear this smartphone can capture uh, with the monitor so here at the right side uh, the left side is still the same like the scaling mode and scaling type every old upscaler and everything but uh, the new things are here like the frame generation now contains lsfg 2.3 means lossless frame generation version 2.3 which is even more greater at detecting hoods and everything uh, along with that uh, in the mode you will now find the x4 mode uh, but I will talk about a few things about X4 mode, uh, which is a little bit weird. Sometimes works, sometimes doesn't, sometimes lags. But yeah, I will talk you through it. Uh, along with that, the old performance mode, which will improve the FPS, but will decrease the image quality, like creating artifacts and everything. Uh, now in here, uh, I have talked about the sync mode uh, previously, so I'm not going to talk about it. Like it just V-sync and everything. So it's just totally up to you to use it or not. But the now the new thing which is G-Sync support. So if I go inside the game, you can see here that my monitor is now running with G-Sync compatibility. Like I have a G-Sync compatible monitor. And previously uh, the software was having some issue with the uh, G-Sync compatible monitors and games. So yeah, now that have been fixed. So you might enable G-Sync support if your monitor have it. Don't forget to click on the draw FPS uh, I tick mark. Uh, capture API is still DXGI and rest of everything is same as usual so for uh, the first time uh, I will use the 2x mode and I will use the uh, shortcut key so yeah let's go back inside the game and uh, wait a second uh, so the current FPS is uh, around 50 and 60 as you can uh, see wait let me show you in that little dark area here you can see it's now around 50 and 60 but as soon as i hit the control alt a uh, you will see that uh, the fps has now uh, been generated to uh, at this top left corner i'll maybe zoom in a little bit later uh, you can see that uh, the capture area is now uh, showing fps is around 45 45 is the original fps and 90 is the generated fps and the yeah, game feels very smooth like according to 90 fps it should be smooth like uh, this so yeah the 2x mode is working fine now i'll just switch to the 3x mode once and scale mode 3x go back inside the game again and hit the button and you will see the 3x mode is also working fine but it's generating some uh, artifacts if you look closely at the screen's edges like uh, this area and like this area notice closely when i move the character quickly you can see maybe some artifact is generated i don't know if the smartphone camera can capture it not but yeah but fps is generating um, like uh, as it usual like 100 and 709 and the smoothness smoothness is very good so yeah now let's try the 4x mode now in the 4x mode uh, there is little bit issue i was having let's see if i was having the same issue still or not so when i activate the forex mode yeah the issue is like uh, if you can see the gerald head or gerald head is a little bit flickering like if i move the camera a little bit faster but let me get to the shadow area still there is a little bit light 
Uh, then now if I switch quickly, you can see a little bit uh, head glitch. Gerald said is a little bit flickering. Other than that, uh, everything is uh, working as it should be. Like the smoothness is very good. Uh, but yeah, sometimes I was having an issue. It's not happening this time. I don't know if that was happening because of the OBS or not. Is that uh, the ground textures were getting very soft and blurry. Like when I uh, run around, you can see maybe a little bit. The ground texture is getting a little bit, uh, what do you say? a uh, little bit blurry and messy like the textures are not clear enough uh, but uh, that time it was happening even more frequently and more uh, increasingly so yeah but the forex mode is still working pretty much fine i have to say and the smoothness is very good like i can feel the mouse latency input it's uh, very good so you can also see the g-sync support like uh, at this corner uh, you can see here the g-sync is also supported the monitor is running with uh, the G-Sync, like the refresh rate, uh, wait, I'll turn on the monitor's refresh rate, maybe, wait a second. There, I have turned on the refresh rate and you can see uh, at the top right corner, it's showing not only the generated FPS, but it's also moving with the FPS. Like if I uh, look this way, you can see that uh, the generated FPS of the lossless is matching with the G-Sync's, uh, what do you say, uh, G-Sync's uh, refresh rate, yeah, monitor's refresh rate. So yeah, G-Sync support is now fully working. I have to say this uh, export mode is very impressive but yeah there is a little bit texture glitching and flickering sometimes on the so there uh, if you have noticed correctly at uh, this so uh, this wall right this spot if i like move pretty quickly there the shadow flickering a light appearing maybe sometime i don't know uh, it's not consistent so that's why i cannot show you like uh, uh, very surely but yeah it's happening sometime but yeah overall uh, for the experience it should be more than fine so yeah, OBS recording is right now bugged uh, with this uh, lossless X4 mode or lossless new update mode. Uh, I will soon make a video about that. So yeah, let's uh, have to say that this is an impressive update. Now if you guys want uh, any more games to test with this lossless X4 mode, do comment and let me know uh, which game you want to see with this lossless X4 mode and I will be more than happy to test that game. So yeah, this will be it for this video. Now I'll end it here and do some more testing with this uh, obvious and uh, lossless. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching this. Uh, if this helps you, you can uh, like and subscribe to the channel. You can comment down below if you're having any kind of issue while using this lossless. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, cheers.